Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I grew up uh, in a pretty good Christian home, Seventh-day Adventist Christian home. Uh, I went to Seventh-day Adventist Christian schools my whole life, and I learned a whole lot about the Bible, a whole lot about Daniel, Revelation, the prophecies, the end time events. I went to church every single week, <laughs> and... Uh, you know, I knew all the do's and the don'ts, and it seemed like there were a lot more don'ts than do's. But uh, either way, I had all this information. I could regurgitate Bible texts that I had committed to memory, whether I liked it or not. But I knew a whole lot about the Bible, but, but something was missing. And in our lesson this week, we find that uh, there's this guy named Nicodemus. And Nicodemus, he's a religious leader. Uh, he's grown up in this Jewish tradition. He's a Jew and he knows it all, y'all. He's probably one of the, the smartest, the wisest of leaders during his time, his day. He knows all the rules, everything, all the traditions, and he keeps them. I mean, he's very rigid, very strict about everything he does as this type of leader, but something's missing. Something is, 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 is not there in his life. And, and he's hearing about the teachings of Jesus. He's also maybe he even witnessed Jesus do some miracles. And he's thinking to himself, man, what Jesus is teaching and what I know <laughs> uh, seem to be two different things. And so he seeks Jesus. He's like, I got to find this guy. I got to talk to him. I, I, I. I got to ask him some questions. And so Nicodemus and Jesus have this conversation. And in John chapter three, you see the conversation play out. And here's the crux of this is that after the conversation that Jesus and Nicodemus have, Nicodemus does not immediately become a follower of Jesus. He doesn't become a disciple right away. As a matter of fact, it doesn't happen for some years down the line. And you know what it taught me? It taught me that conversion is a process, not a one-time event. And when I look at my own life, my own experience, I see where there were tons of times that Jesus was trying to have a conversation with me and, and praise God, I finally had that conversation. But you know what? I have to keep having <laughs> the conversation because even though I got rebaptized, even though I, I consider myself a disciple, a follower of Jesus, I'm still on a journey. I'm still uh, in this process. And even though I was converted, um, I'm still being converted every single day. And so it's not just a one-time deal. And y'all, I have some good days and I have some <laughs> some pretty bad days sometimes, but I am in it for the journey because this whole thing is about an experience and a process of becoming more and more like Jesus. And through the study of this week's lesson, listen, I want you to learn three things. All right. Are you ready? Number one, I want you to understand the ongoing nature of conversion. Number two, I want you to feel confident that God is transforming you if you just let him. Number three, I want you to choose to live boldly for the kingdom of God.